up everybody and welcome back to my Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Let's play on crushing difficulty. This part is going to be extremely difficult. I'm not looking forward to it at all. But last time I left off talking about... <laughs> what was that? Last time I left off talking about... Dark Knight Rises and The Amazing Spider-Man. I never got to talking about The Amazing Spider-Man. So I will start talking about it now while I'm getting my ass kicked here. I really enjoyed it. Oh crap, I'm dead. Come on. I really enjoyed it and actually a friend of mine told me that it was really good and he actually liked it more than Dark Knight. Which I disagree with. I liked I like Dark Knight more than Spider-Man. But, that's... you can have your own opinion on it. It's just that I felt like I was watching a movie that I'd already seen once already. Because it was a reboot, and they did the origin story again. And, you know, it's not a bad thing, but I just felt like I was watching a movie I'd already seen once. So, that was basically my only criticism of it the origin story again. I'm gonna die, crap. Maybe that'll kill him, hopefully. Come on, come on, come on. Didn't get him. Shit. Alright, well, let's use up the rest of this AK and then I can start using the M4. Oh crap, I didn't see that guy. But, really enjoyed it. I thought Andrew Garfield did a great job. Because it's not like the same... It's not, you know, it's even though it's a reboot, it's not the same, like, Spider-Man. It's a different Spider-Man. It's like, from what I, what I understand is that it's like, the big, you know, the big difference in it is that it's Gwen Stacy instead of Mary Jane Watson, but from what I understand, like, it's two different universes. That the last Spider-Man was one universe, and this Spider-Man is a different universe. So that it's like, you can reboot it, and it's not the exact same thing. Even though it kind of feels the same, but oh, oh, no, don't. that's the way I understood it. I just got freaking shot at like my mother. Crap. Oh boy. It's right underneath my feet. But I really enjoyed it. I thought he did a great job. I liked it more than I said this last time, and I think I might even said it already in this episode. But I liked. The Amazing Spider-Man more than I liked any of the other Spider-Mans. Which is saying something, because the... Spider-Man 2 was my favorite from the first three. And that was a really great film. Crap, I missed him. I'll not have a lot of ammo left. Let me see if I can get that guy. See how far that was. Oh, I might have gotten him. Yeah, nice! I got the guy in the frickin'... Nice. That was sweet. I got that guy once. Twice. Did I kill him? Nope, not quite. I gotta get my my health back up here, but... Oh yeah, I really loved it. Andrew Garfield did great, like I said. I think Emma Stone did a really good job, too. Of Gwen Stacy. I thought... Dr. Connors was played really good. I really enjoyed the reptile as the villain. I think it worked out really well. Fuck, he moved. Now, I know they were planning on actually having the uh, lizard do... be a, be a villain in the other Spider-Man. But it just kind of ended. It was like supposed to be the villain for Spider-Man 4. But then they just stopped making it and rebooted the series. But... I did not see, like, the post credit scene, so there is one, in case you haven't gone yet and you're planning on going, there is a post credit scene. I should have figured there was with it being Marvel, because Marvel always did, Marvel pretty much always does, like, a post credit scene now. Oh, I almost died there, that would have been awful. Marvel almost always does a post credit scene now. Batman didn't. I actually looked on 
the internet before I left the theater for Batman just to make sure they didn't have a post credit scene like advertising like, you know, Man of Steel or something like that. But I think I got them all. Sweet. I did not die once. Well, other than me getting like sniped to start off the round. I know people come from the other side here though, so I gotta watch out for that. Oh yeah. Like they come from the other side now. Yeah. Hopefully I got a checkpoint there. I pray to god I got a checkpoint. <laughs> no! Oh my god. That is awful. I didn't get a freaking checkpoint. Seriously? Oh. Well, what I'm gonna do now is pretty much get back up to that point. And then... I'll get back up to that point and then I'll... Then I'll cut it back in so... You don't have to watch this whole thing again. And I'll keep talking about Spider-Man then. Alright, I am back. I just blew up the guy on the... The Gatlin gun there. And I should have... Everyone dead. I'm just gonna look around quick just to be sure. There's a Wes over here, I know that. I need to, I need to pick that up, because I'm basically completely out of bullets. Where the heck's that Wes? I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, there's a guy over there still. Fuck. I just picked up a grenade, that's it. Son of a bitch. Oh, this is fun. Hopefully that killed him. It did. Look at that. That's good help. So I got my AKs back now, and Christ, where are they at, where are they at, where are they at, Ooh, Christ, I don't even know where they are, oh there he is, okay, that scared the crap out of me, I need to get my health back here and I can pop out here, yeah, thank you, where are they, okay, they're coming out from over there now, one good thing about that is, is I can go up here, and use this. As long as I don't frickin' die. So I'm gonna go back to talking about... Amazing Spider-Man. And... How much I liked it. I did like it a lot. I thought Dennis Lear did a great job with uh, his role too as... Oh, shit. Gwen Stacy's dad. Oh, that did not get all the way up there. I thought it did. It's Gwen Stacy's dad, the police chief, or captain, the police captain. I really liked him. Even though it's funny because he, he looks a lot like uh, Willem Dafoe, who played Green Goblin in the first Spider-Man movies. I think that's it. I think I got everybody. Sweet. So that's all I had to do there after I killed everybody the first time. It actually only took me two or three, two or three attempts after I died that first time. So it only took me like 10, 15 minutes to get back to where I was. There's the Wes. Uh, do I want it? Nah, I'm good. I got full, got, got full pistol. Maybe I should though. Maybe I should take the West, because you can find pistols pretty easily. I mean, I just had empty pistol and I'm full again, so yeah, I think I will take the West. What's this? M4, I'm going to take M4. M4 is more powerful than the AK. And... So I'm pretty much, I'm, I'm a powerhouse right now with the West and the M4. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait for the next Spider-Man set to come out. May 2nd, 2014. Hopefully they do something cool with that. I'd actually like to see... I, I would not be surprised. I bet it happens. I bet Black Cat uh, ends up going into the game. Uh, in, in, into the games. Into the movies. Because she was really good in the Spider-Man game. I think she first appeared in Spider-Man 2, the game. And I really enjoyed that. So I think there's a cutscene here. So I'll keep talking about it after this. Get this all on the boat now. Hey. Come on, let's go, let's go! How did you get here? You really need to see this. Now is really not the best time. 
No, Nate. What are you doing? You really need to watch this. It's just... What? And... Hello. It's Sully! What is he doing He's alive? Her. I don't know, Nate. I mean... How much do you trust this guy? It's not exactly like they're holding them at gunpoint. I, I know. Yeah, it seems weird. But no, Sully's a lot of things, but he's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Uh, Northish. Yeah, towards the mountains. Okay, it's got to be the monastery. Let's go. Uh, what if it turns out he's working with them? We either rescue him or we beat the crap out of him. Good plan. Hell, I might just beat the crap out of him anyway. Nah. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can really say. Oh crap. No. I was about to say, that's all I can really say about Spider Man and Batman without really giving anything spoiler wise away. So I'm pretty much just going to leave it at that. Oh, AK. Okay, let's see. Where can I set a point here? Shh, move, Elena. I'm going to set up right here. Oh, crap. That guy is really close. Yeah, I killed him. I'm actually going to use my M4 ammo right now because I can pick up that explosive stuff right there. Then. I can kill that guy. Where's the other guy? Right there. I can't quite shoot at him. I think I got him. Nope, didn't quite get him. Oh, headshot. Nice. Oh, 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 don't. Gotta watch out for that grenade! So I got six shots left on the M4. I missed, actually. I didn't kill him. I thought I did. Nice. I headshot him. And even if I didn't headshot him, he would have dropped their grenade. And that guy's dead, too. Nice. So I can pick up this nice explodey thing, and I got three shots in that, and five shots in my Wes. So I'll use my Wes for now. He's got an AK, anything up here. I think there's normally a treasure up here, but nothing here now. But yeah, I'd, I'd highly suggest both of those films, even if you're not really a comic book type of person. They're both really good. I saw Ted on Monday, too. Really good movie. Don't really need to get into any specifics about that. Comedy movie, a little bit inappropriate, but it's Seth MacFarlane, so what do you expect? This bridge looks really rickety. Ooh, cutscene! Love cutscenes. How does something like this happen? See those scorch marks? Uh-huh. Somebody packed this place with enough gunpowder to blow it wide open. Ooh. Watch where you step. Some of these boards are... Really fallen. Oh god! Elena! I can't hold on! Give me your other hand! You've got to let it go! Damn it! Oh no. Camera. Rest in peace, camera. We'll do a montage of the camera <laughs> after this cutscene. No, I'm just kidding. It'd be funny though. Camera. It's so beautiful. He's showing us so much evidence. Okay. Oh, shit! It's okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I did like that camera. That was a pretty camera. Oh, well, now at least she can help us with both hands by shooting people instead of fucking carrying a goddamn camera. Oh, I don't think there's anything down here. Just check quick. No, I think there's normally a treasure, but not doing that today. So I think we're about to go to a new chapter. Whoa! That was a sweet, sweet somersault off of there. <laughs> is this the right way? Yeah, I think it is. Because that way leads nowhere, so I think, yeah, this is the right way. Be careful, because I keep running up these stairs and I keep getting shot. What? You didn't get killed by the Wes? Wow. That's the first time I've ever seen that. Somebody did not die from one shot from the Wes. It's probably because I hit body armor or something. 
something stupid like that. Come on, pop out. I'm gonna shoot you. Missed. You kidding me? Come on. Pop out. Yeah, I got him. I think this guy's carrying a West too. Where's his gun? I think he was. I mean, he killed me in one shot. That's usually the work of the West. But maybe not. This guy's got an AK, but that doesn't help me at this point. I'm gonna keep my explodey thing. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, brutal combo! That was brutal. Boom. Watch this. I'm gonna punch him in the face. Oh, maybe kick him in the face. Who knows? Alright, I'm gonna do that one more time because I'm out of West ammo. Nice. River ought to take so we are on chapter 12 now. We're going to be heading up river, it looks like. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Nah, I don't need AK. Screw it.